guys in the lobby want to put a tap in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> This one too. What is so, it, Jared? Uh, so Who are we? Hey! We are Ice Cold Domestic. And, and what uh, is this? You little son of a bitch! This is a bike rack brewing company, Czech Pilsner, Rocking Horse, Czech style Pilsner. Uh, this is crafted in Arkansas. I believe uh, bike rack's up in Rockville, right? There you go. Bentonville, I'm sorry. Yeah. Bentonville. Bentonville, Arkansas. This is the Ice Cold Domestic Brew review with special guest folks melissa who's been melissa. i was gonna say let out of the basement detained <laughs> yeah. de detained <laughs> detained is a good word we got to like the basement <laughs> brought back into brought back <laughs> to the basement you can never go home again as per usual all of our guests are here against their will and uh yeah. disclaimer that now this one yeah if we pick you 5. or you pick us we're going to just kidnap you and not school well, to be fair, she's <laughs> she's locked in tight because she rode with that guy. <laughs> this guy, right? True so, story. She's locked in. And uh, would you like to do the honors on that? As, as yeah. well? By the way, she brought the beers this week. Oh, yeah. oh we got new ones? Yeah. Got new. new ones? This is very different from what we just okay. drank. So, yeah, I didn't want to contaminate. Yeah. Cross -contaminate. We try to cross-contaminate. So, you know, we... Nice on the can crack. Nice yeah. pour. Yeah. Good head. Good head. Which Melissa loves is what I heard. <laughs> so it's clear. So this is what a. How's this uh, one smell? What's the aroma? It has a very bright smell. This is a Pilsner style. So this is going to be like if uh, yeah. we compare it to like Budweiser or Miller or as far as look and, and yeah. like, uh, drinkability and stuff like that, I would assume. Yeah, yeah it well, does. We're look, about to find it out. It looks about like your colostomy bag, Curtis. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> hey, I was actually, I was told by, uh, like, I want to get a. A physical one. They, they told me you need to drink more of it. <laughs> well, okay. Thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> and they had that look. They're like, there's water in beer. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly water, guys. <laughs> it's only 5.5%. We got know. some guys in the lobby wanting to put a tap in your ass. So <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead there, Jimmy. Get you a little bit. Uh... So, uh, tell us, tell, are gotta, you still waiting on it to fizz out? Let it fizz a little bit, but i am notice it's got a, a real bright citrusy smell. Yeah. A little, yeah, little bit good. of hops shining through, but a lot of like lemony type notes got, to it on the top. It's got a good color. We call that flavor. Yeah, unless it looks like you, lemonade. Yeah, unless you get into the IPA realm and then it gets yeah. a little, little yeah. It looks like lemonade. It does. Yeah, it's got a... It's got lemon. Oh, it is. It's, it's, it's got, got some, some citrusy notes, in it. too. Yeah. yeah. I didn't expect it to. I expected it to be a little Maybe more traditional Pilsner. Yeah. And it is. It's definitely traditional Pilsner, but there, there's there's kind of a lemony taste to it. Mm -hmm. See, I get the... I guess it's... I guess it's um, the hops or something. Yeah. Uh, this one would be the one that would bite you to the ground. Oh, yeah. Hot day. Yeah. That oh, would yeah. Like it's definitely day. a little bit uh, more hoppy than, yeah. than like a bud. It is. It's bread. nice and bright. Yeah, you yeah. can you can get that out of the aroma straight up, mm -hmm. but it's going to have a, a, yeah, a lot more some... flavor. Unlike the Ozark yeah. cream stuff that we just tried, this one would be great for after mowing the yard. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Hot weather. But I will say that even though you get it, it's not overpowering. That's not. you taste it. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, it's not overpowering, and it's it's got a relatively clean. This would kick ass with a burger. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's got burger or a broth. Something that's got that fatty grilled to Bar it. If you're out grilling, yeah. mm -hmm. some brats and some like mm -hmm. uh, corn. I definitely like the burger references more yeah. than I do the lawn. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hate more lawn. <laughs> And I like burgers. <laughs> With all the like dollars you've made from your music, why don't you hire somebody? Yeah. <laughs> tens of tens of dollars. Style. Oh, I'm, I'm a, You're a traditional. Guy. He's yeah. trying to keep it real. Yeah, yeah I keep on the down low with the... <laughs> you even have a gas lawnmower? I, barely. Okay. It's barely <laughs> gas. There's only a little bit of gas in it. <laughs> I have a weenie dog, and I've been trying to figure out how to harness him. <laughs> he's, he's not into it at well, all. Just put him on a steak and let him go. There's a video... 
that the, the old drummer from uh, David Crowder band put out. His name's B-Wack. That's what they call him. B-Wack. He yeah. has a stake he puts in the middle of his yard and ties a rope to his... Self-propelled? Self-propelled. Self-propelled, and it just lets it go around the yard. Yeah, and will... I've seen it. Perfect. Nice. You ought to look into that. Yeah, I imagine I'd get some, some flack for that. I've asked for a ride in the morning. Well, then you just got to go out and the do the powers corners. The powers that be say your lawn is not big enough for a ride in the lawnmower. I was like, if you're mowing the lawn, she's like, The powers that be, that's Janet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to name names. <laughs> that's not you, honey. We <laughs> love you, though. We love you, dearly. <laughs> All so, hey, listen for real. All the band wives are great. They're awesome. This is one of our band wives, so thank you. I mean, let's face it. Anybody that would marry any of us, there's something wrong with them. There. Deserves a fucking medal. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. Oh, speaking of which, um, the Woodalls just uh, celebrated their anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. Uh, Twenty years, if I'm not mistaken. So congratulations. Uh, the cake was excellent. The cake was good, but God bless America, it was rich. <laughs> oh my God! They, they, they do it's it right like down there, confectionally. Three thousand calories. Speaking of that's <laughs> local, right? Yeah. yeah. It is. So confectionately yours. Shout out to the uh, Melissa, uh, Melissa and James. Oh, you Woodall definitely cake. The tacos were good. You definitely tacos were good. Joe's had Joe's the tacos. Also kitchen. local. Also of, local. Um, we keep it local here. There's a little bit of um. I don't want to say citrus, citrusy, but it's more of a grapefruit. You're right. I was thinking it was lemon, but there. you're right. Grapefruity a little bit. Grapefruit, yeah. I agree. I mean, it, it did when you, the first sip, and maybe it's just because we had the, the mm-hmm. other thing. So, um, but the first sip did kind of almost taste lemon. Yeah, I agree. You're right. But, Subsequently, but, to, I think, it's a better description. It, yeah. it finishes almost like you're drinking a 7-Up. Uh, yeah. It has a very nice... Yeah, clean. Follow yeah, but it's super very clean. nice. Yeah, it's super clean. Yeah, very nice. short finish. It's been very yeah, very good. Much say so mowed lawn. So okay. again, bike I'd kill Yeah, him. that's where I was going next. <laughs> After so, mowing, I'd kill so school. this this is another really great, interesting selection from Bike Rack Brewing Company. Bike Rack has been killing yeah, it. Yeah, in our these opinion, these guys have nailed it. Except, our, for, except for the IPA, didn't they yeah. have an IPA? The one IPA, yeah. but we're just not IPA fans. We're, not, but we're it, just not. If you find if you find all their like they had the light amber, didn't they? Oh yeah, the amber ale, the golden ale, man, that golden got, ale all is delicious. That, yeah. that this is this Chet Pilsner is good. Bike rack has been in. I think all the bike racks we've done, except for the IPA, yeah, IPA. we have really enjoyed. And like Jared said, that was just a matter of taste. Now. Uh, Austin said that he loved the IPAs. He probably would have liked the bike Yeah, rack. if you like IPAs, like bike check out the Bike Rack IPA. It might be for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, Bike Rack, Benville, Arkansas, again. I think again, they're fixing to get open, too. I think they're are they going to open one in Fort Smith? I think they're what's going in the bakery in the winter, too. Nice. nice. So thank you. I don't know that track. for positive, but I think that's well, the that, that I heard. Whether they're in Bentonville, you can get it here. Is <laughs> the point is because yeah. they're local. So Sodies, y'all got shells at Sodies. That's yeah. what we got. Sodies. So, so far, man, Sodies, you guys have been awesome. So, Their pick six wall is awesome. Yeah, it yeah, really it's is phenomenal. Really yeah. great. But yeah. anywhere, you, you. Oh, anywhere yeah. local that you can get it, check out Bike Rack. Also check out um, some of the other ones we've done. Uh, if you like and subscribe, you can go back and see some of the other beers we've done. Bike we've done a lot of Raw and Sons. Raw and Sons. Uh, all of them. But, but this was, was in, Bike Rack. I was in Dallas not too long ago when I was sitting at a restaurant looked up and seen a Raw and Sons uh, sign. So for us up here, Raw and Sons was kind of exotic, but evidently down there in Oh, yeah, they're, they're right there in Fort they're, Worth. That's yeah, right, Fort Worth. Right, pretty, yeah. big, pretty big deal. So, and uh, if you can get some Trooper beer... That's Jimmy. Rock on. Yeah. Yeah, that, right there, honestly, yeah. that's been my favorite so far. Trooper, yeah. Trooper was kick-ass. So, Melissa, what did, what did you think of this one in particular? I, I liked it um, for a summer beer. I don't think that it's the style that I necessarily like best, so it's not going to be my new daily drinker because I like them dark. But, uh, yeah. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out on the patio. I'm down. Uh, absolutely. I'm with you. It's a definitely how you kids get off my lawn beer. <laughs> for real? For real? I, oh, so after we do the uh, we got to do that one then. Yeah. We got to do that yeah, one. Yeah, we got to do that one. Because um, it's original. We can do that. We yeah. can do that. Uh, thumbs up, though, right? Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs definitely up, thumbs at up. least for yeah. a yeah. spring, yeah. Uh, summertime yeah. beer, barbecue beer. I think that's five thumbs up. I'm outdoorsy in that I like to get drunk on patios. Great yeah. beer. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa, for bringing the beers this week. Uh, we love it when people bring beers. We love it when people come over. And and they're here somewhat voluntarily. So don't, don't be scared. 
Don't be afraid. On yes, that note. We have a Wookiee, but it's fine. We don't, we don't use him much. Like and subscribe, and they might release me. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now we're working. That's Ransom. Ransom. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.